Welcome again to the Study Bible Bible Study, where we study the Bible with Study Bibles. And Revelation 17, 14 tells us, And these shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall conquer them. For he is, Lord of Lords, he is King of Kings. And they who are with him are called and chosen and faithful. God bless, amen. And we are on our session number two of the teaching of the twelve. Now, Ephesians 2.19 says, So then you are no longer strangers and sojourners with them, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and the members of the household of God built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Okay. But the path to death is this. First of all, it is evil and full of cursing. There are found murders and adulteries, lusts, fornication, thefts, idolatries, soothsaying, sorceries, robberies, false witnessing, hypocrisies, double-mindedness, craft, pride, malice, self-will, covetousness, filthy talking, jealousy, audacity, arrogance. There, they are, there are they who persecute the good, lovers of the lie, not knowing the reward of righteousness, nor cleaving nor cleaving the good, nor, nor cleaving to the good, nor to righteous judgment. Now watching not for good, but for the bad. Always looking to the negative and not to the positive. From whom meekness and patience are afar off. Meekness is believing in God. And the meek will inherit the earth. The meek are the people who follow God and believe in God. That's who the meek are, if you're not aware of that. Now, loving all things that are vain, following after recompense, having no compassion on the needy, nor laboring for him that is in trouble, not knowing him that made them, murderers of children, corruptors of the image of God, who turn away from him that is in need, who oppress him that is in trouble. Now unjust judges of the poor, erring in all things. From all these the children may be. From all these children may you be delivered of all such things. All those indictments were from the pathway of death. And in session one, there'd be, I guess, more indictments into the pathway of life. Maybe the things we should and should not do. Now, article number four, or actually article number six, I believe, in this book. Now, see that no one make you to err from this path of doctrine, since he who doeth so teacheth you apart from God. Since he who doeth so teacheth thee apart from God. These teachings and who and who carries on and does these teachings will separate you from God if you hold on to these teachings as your own. Now, if you are able to bear the whole yoke of the Lord, thou wilt be perfect. But if thou art not able, what thou art able, that do. But concerning meat, bear that which is, and which thou art able to do. But keep with care from things sacrificed to idols, for it is the worship of the infernal deities. Yeah, so this book would be maybe in A.D. 50, or it would be from the teachings of A.D. 50, done in the, probably the written in, down in the first, between the first and second century would be would be where this comes from, this trend, roughly translated from Greek, I'm guessing. Now, but concerning baptism, thus baptize you, having first recited all these precepts, baptize in the name of the Father, and in the Son, and in the Holy Spirit, 
in running water, but if thou hast no running water, baptize in some other water. And if thou canst not baptize in cold, in warm water, but if thou hast neither, pour water three times on the head in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. But before the baptism, let him who baptizeth and he who is baptized fast previously. So go, go into your baptism and the person who's baptizing you try to go in as sanctified as possibly you can be. To be sanctified is, uh, I think it's be like John 17, 17, uh, sanctify them with your word, your word is the truth. Or your word is the truth, sanctify them with the truth. It's a way of, uh, sanctification means to be cleansed, and baptism is too. It's the washing of regeneration from your old past sins. It is a sanctification ritual. Which, basically, what it, I guess what it says here is no matter how you go about being baptized, just go and get it done. I think that's kind of what, what it says. So whether you do it in a river, whether you do it in a bathtub, whether you pour water on your head, make sure you get baptized. That's just a... That's always been a church practice, is baptism. Now, and the others who may... Be able, and thou shalt command him who is baptized to fast one or two days before. So if you have time, fast and fasting helps you prepare your heart, right? If you're always consuming and consuming and being gluttonous in your consuming of things, uh, a good fast will redirect your heart and help you to get a little bit of self-control over your life and the facets of your life that are in your brain, I guess. Now, we're on to section number eight. Now, but as for your fast, let them not be with the hypocrites, for they fast on the second and the fifth days of the week, but do not fast on the fourth and the sixth days. Neither pray ye as the hypocrites, but as the Lord hath commanded in his gospel, so pray you. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done as earth, as in, that will be done as in heaven so on earth. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forget our, forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power, the kingdom, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Pray in this fashion three times a day. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth that it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Is that so? More elaborate version of of this original, more original version. But okay, now we got article number nine. But concerning communion, concerning the Eucharist. Now after this fashion give ye thanks. First concerning the cup, we thank thee, our Father, for the holy vine. David, thy son, which thou hast made known unto us through Jesus Christ, thy son, to be to you be the glory forever. And concerning the broken bread, we thank thee, our Father, for the life and knowledge which thou hast made known unto us through Jesus, thy son, to be to you be the glory forever. As this broken bread was once scattered on the mountain, and after it has been brought together, became one. Now so many of uh, now so now so may thy church, so may your church be gathered together from the ends of the earth unto your kingdom. 
for yours is the glory and the power through Jesus Christ forever. Let none eat or drink of your communion. Let none eat or drink or partake of communion, but such as have been baptized into the name of the Lord, into the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. For of a truth the Lord hath said concerning this, Give not that which is holy unto the dogs. Article number 10. So yet again, though, when it comes to communion, or I guess if you take the Eucharist, I think the point here is probably just make it a part of your life and do it, whether it's the home communion, or communion at church, or communion on Wednesdays, or communion on Saturday, Sunday, and every day I believe that Catholics do a Eucharist, which is more often than most. Make it a part of your life and make it a part of your Christian life. And there are lots of communion prayers online that will really help you to understand what it is you're doing when you're taking communion. But remember, you have to be baptized first. So don't forget to baptize yourself or have your neighbor baptize you or the person sitting beside you baptize you. But baptize yourself and make sure you are sanctified to the utmost ability that you can muster at that point in time. Elaborate festivals, I'm sure, are wonderful, and big parties and big church gatherings and, you know, 20 people hopping in a river, but it's more important to just honor God and do some of the stuff He says and, and get it done. Then we're on Article 10 next. Now Ephesians 2.19 says, So then you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and the members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Ephesians 2.19 this is our study Bible study session of the teaching of the Twelve Apostles. Number 624 says, May the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, may the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Hebrews 12, 14 says, Fall in peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. And Revelation 17, 14 tells us, And these shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall conquer them. For he is Lord of lords, he is King of kings. And they who are with him are called and chosen and faithful. God bless and amen.